intro? I don't do intros. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's just straight up trash, yo. What do we have here? Oh, a little busted deli. Some biscuits. <laughs> mirror we got here tennis rackets just a bunch of junk it's trash 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 oh no oh no 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 wait a minute what do we got here look at this some fancy golf club can Travel boxes. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Whoop, whoop. Not scrapping, y'all. Woo! Rip sticking it. So we got here some tools. Yeah. 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 I'll take some tools. I'll take some tools, buddy. Rip sticking it. Cool boxing it up, man. What's up? All right. Oh. What do we got here? What do we got here? All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh! Oh. 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 That's got some weight to it. Come on, man. How does this shit, this shit work? We'll figure it out later. What else we got here? Box full of books. Okay, books. Books are good. Books make money. All right. Let's see. Some aquarium stuff. Kitchen stuff. Baseball bats. All right. All right, all right, all right. Roddy, 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 Lucy Twos. Oh, lots of plates. Ceiling fan. What the hell? We got Nikes, y'all. Nikes. Mate. <sighs> Sorry if it's a little dark, guys. Oh, I need to get a light. What is this? Busted ass picture. Fan dishes. Hey, these bags are full of shoes. Oh. These bags are full 
her shoes, y'all. That's all towels. We'll grab these in case they're in those other bags. Nikes, yo. Oh, got some hand tools. Nice little Coca-Cola clock. Christmas tree. Junk. Toast full of VHS tapes. Can't do shit with. Secret, secret, I got a secret. It's heavy trash day. Dude, I mean, you just gotta check these boxes. You never know. You never know. No, nope. but there's nothing. Right here. Radio Shack. Throw that back there. We got another receiver here. And it even came with the manual. That's what I'm talking about. Sony. That last one I found in the dumpster, I sold that thing for like 20 bucks, man. Oh. Little doll crate here with the pan and everything. These will fetch a few bucks for sure. Oh. Yeah, these are. I I sell these real fast. That's a good shape too. Still got the tag on it, I think. Not a bad little score right there. I just junk. Alright, what we got here? A receiver. Another receiver. Open people's trash bags with some sheets and stuff. Good container, but yeah. You know, try to be respectable of people's stuff, you know what I mean? Ooh, vodka! No vodka! Uh, Go here, y'all. A 
all this ish. Let's take it. So I'll take the, uh, yeah, we'll look at this here later. Go through it later. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Garage sell that. Let's see where we got in here. Oh, those are pretty cool. I'll take those. Let's take that box. I'm not the one that digs, you know, won't be digging through people's, like, opening up bags and making a complete mess. It's a crock pot. No lid, though. Probably wasting the trash. We got here. Oh, more random stuff. We'll just take the tote. Oh, go through it. This guy, right. that up there, you know, save a little for the next guy. A compressor here, guys. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Uh, make sure I don't crush anything here. Oh. Too shabby, not too shabby. All right, not too shabby. Uh, nah, 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 what is this? Digital portable radio control system? Is it, is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. We'll check it out here in a little bit. See what we got there. <sighs> yeah, I'd be taking this stuff if I was out here scrapping, man. I passed up all kinds of stuff earlier. Barbecue pits, refrigerators, trash compactors, you name it, man. But I just don't got the room. I gotta get me a trailer, yo. Say what? Oh, it's a Poolan Pro. Hey, it's got the case. Oh, there's there's two of them. There's one in here too. <sighs> Shoot. Got up on her. Cat beds, chairs, dirty ass couch. In the box. Yeah, there's something in there, all right. Newspaper. Little bandsaw right there. Oh man, that thing is in some bad shape. God, if I was scrapping, I'd be taking this stuff, guys, but I don't have room for scrap this trip. Shoot. Morning. Morning. Y'all mind if I snag a couple of things? Yeah, let me put the dogs in real quick. Okay. Hey, guys. Ozzy, get over Oh, I got two English Bulldogs. Do you? 
at home, yeah. Uh. <sighs> yeah, actually, I put, I put together little YouTube videos where I go around and pick up really? trash and dumpster diving and stuff like that. And if y'all are on YouTube, check it out. It's called Mike the Scavenger. Mike the Scavenger? Mike the Scavenger, yeah. And uh, yeah, I just go around and, uh, you know, scavenge for stuff and, you know, for resale and everything like that. And we got, we got three kids living home that shouldn't be living home. No, that's Hey guys. That's Ozzy. He, he, Ozzy. He, these guys are bad at all. Yeah. Now I got a white one. I got a white one and one that looks like this. Burton Winston. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just I saw the I saw the monitor and then the the, the little lamp and. Oh. Oh, is it okay? I'll grab that as well. Take that. Well, hey, I really appreciate you guys. What's it called again? Uh, Mike the Scavenger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, but yeah, I, I do dumpster diving, and then uh, my mother-in-law lives in this neighborhood, so I, I do all the the heavy trash day. Cool. And uh, I mean, we find tons of stuff and make lots of money. Yeah. So yeah, but y'all come check it out and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I'm Mike. Yeah, I'm Mike. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye. I'll buy this right down the street from where I parked the truck. And I was like, man, I gotta go get it. Check it out. Little mini blower. Probably nothing wrong with it. Great for in the shop. Yeah. What we got here, y'all? All right, this is a truck. Samsung monitor. Oh. Oh man, this thing looks like a server. It's heavy. Oh, it's real heavy. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's heavy. We got right here and a TV. What's up, Toshiba? Looks old. It's got the cord. We'll plug it in and check her out. Not bad right there. HP monitor. Oh, that's a nice one. Now that is an expensive chandelier right there, boy. Wait to it. Yeah, that's not bad. And then this guy.
here. So get this guy in over here. Without damaging the TV. See if I can lean the TV back this way. Like that. Just enough to get home. Wow, that's that's beautiful. I hope it's not broken, but hey, it's heavy, so. Oh. All right, not bad. Guys, let's go check it out. Bruh. Yes, it is. Another wet drive back. Oh. And you can come home with me. Oh, sticky right there. All right. Jeez, two truckload fulls. All right, so I found these two chandeliers. Beautiful, beautiful chandeliers. Only issue is whoever tossed them out just tossed them out, literally. And they broke some welds on these things that are broken and it really bums me out because this is something that I probably could have sold for a few bucks but now it's just gonna have to probably be scrap I got a brother who's a welder I might talk to him and see what he can do about fixing this um, because I mean that's gorgeous that is absolutely gorgeous and then this guy over here, there, there doesn't look seem doesn't doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this. So I'm gonna try to sell this as is here locally, you know, 50 bucks, 100 if I'm lucky, because it's a gorgeous piece too. Uh, I don't think it's missing anything. I have to do a little bit more research and dig through it a little bit, and see. But overall, I mean, that's not a bad little find right there. I mean, and it's like that one is super heavy. That's easy, 60 pounds, 70 pounds. So you know, hopefully. Do what we can, get a few bucks for it. Yeah. <sighs> Craftsman 2.0 wet dry vac, just like the one last week, which ended up working and I got 20 bucks for. I just plugged this one in and I guarantee you it's gonna fire up. So let's check her out. Yep. Yeah, we got some suction too, so. Nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it's a little bit old and the person probably upgraded to something newer or bigger and uh, they left it out on the curb for me. So yeah, there should be another $20, $25 right there, man. Uh, three of them had, you know, mostly just garbage and trash and junk in them. So I emptied them out. But I mean, uh, tubs are good. Totes, I mean, totes are really good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. The lids lock. I mean be perfect especially for all those books that I found gonna have to haul that stuff up to the bookstore we got this little oil free air compressor Bostic, uh two horsepower six gallon pancake uh, we're about to plug it in see if she works I'm guessing this is gonna be the same scenario as like the uh, the shop vac uh, somebody probably upgraded only thing I can visually see wrong with it is the handle so let's plug it in, see if she fires up. Uh, see, if we're lucky here, guys. All right, well, there's nothing there. Okay, so she is definitely not working. I don't see an on off switch here. There is no on off switch. Is this on off? Oh, yep. Yeah, so uh, from what I can see, nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's leaking air right here because there's obviously, you know, don't have the fitting in there. But uh, like I said, somebody tossed it out, probably upgraded to a bigger one. Uh, I could probably jerry-rig some sort of handle on this. I mean, this is a pretty decent little uh, compressor, so I could probably squeeze 30, 40 bucks out of it. 
uh, not a bad little find. A uh, little dog crate here. These are the these are the good ones, the ones that are the wire, the wire metal ones. They're you know they're over a hundred bucks new, and uh, it looks like it'd be you know for a dog you know medium sized dog, 50, 60 pounds. Great shape, still got the pan on it. Everything comes together. I mean, you know it's got a couple little you know cosmetic dings on it or whatever, but the uh, the function of it absolutely nothing wrong. Should easily be able to squeeze 30 to 50 bucks out of that guy. I think it also had this in here. I'm not sure if that's something that you'd put in the middle to maybe separate two smaller dogs, but it came with it. So yeah, uh, not a bad little bad little find right there, guys. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The one house I found two chainsaws, not one but two only issue is they're both P the Poulan and I know Poulan is like you know like pretty much Walmart Walmart brand when it comes to chainsaws it ain't no still or echo but uh this guy right here I mean dude it looks pretty new not bad shape uh I'll put some gas in here a little bit see if it fires up if not uh, there's a little small engine repair place by my house. Uh, might take it up there, see if he'll fix them. They may not be worth fixing. See if he just give me, you know, a few bucks for him so he can have the parts to, you know, fix, uh, fix some other, other people's chainsaws that comes in, you know, parts or whatever. But if this guy works, uh, I'm going to keep that. I got a big old oak tree in my yard and, and I'd love to have me a chainsaw. But yeah, that's really, really not that bad of a... Out of a little haul, just just laid out in the trash. See a lot of oil in there, so I don't know. We shall see. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool because it's got like a stand that it like rotates and stuff. And I've never really seen anything like that. And you know, just regular old Samsung there. And then this guy, I think it's a mo I thought it was a monitor, but looking at it, it looks like it might be a little bit of an older TV. But, uh, you know, we'll plug it in, see if it turns on. We'll plug it in here in a minute. I'm excited, see if it works. But yeah, not too bad. The wife and I, we did a little late night run because people sometimes put stuff out in the evening. And we ended up finding these two TVs, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it on film because I don't have adequate lighting. So if anybody out there watching is like a supplier of the, the little head units for the GoPros that have the LED lights. Hit me up. Uh, see if we work out a deal or something. You know, I'll give you a shout out because I'd love to I'd love to be able to do more nighttime stuff uh, because there really is really is some good stuff at night. But yeah, this guy, I'm really curious to see if it works. Nice and big. Screen's in good shape. I don't know what brand it is, but uh, we'll plug it in here in a minute and uh see if she turns on same thing with this guy a little panasonic i mean they're obviously old you know dirty or whatever but that does not mean that they don't work so uh here in a little bit we're gonna plug in all these tvs that we found uh, one by one and uh see which works and what doesn't i guess they were a golfer i mean surprise surprise we're in a golfing uh country club setting type neighborhood uh these are the uh the hard travel cases for golf clubs and you know these are probably i mean i'm not a golfer or anything but you know i know like with the harder cases things probably a little more expensive you know these are probably over 100 bucks brand new so i'll see if i can pop uh what's that say on the bottom it says flight master yeah it's for uh for traveling with your club that one looks a little bit nicer than the other but i'll see if i can sell both of them you know throw them up 50 bucks somebody probably snag them up uh but never sold these before but i think it's a pretty decent fun i i think this is a harbor freight thing i don't know but it's a cute little uh cute little blower got it for the wife because uh i know she'd uh She'd use it out there. She's got a little paint shop where she does furniture. So let's plug it in and see if it works. I bet it does. People in this neighborhood throw up perfectly good stuff all the time. So <sighs> it does not work. Oh, it does. Oh, there's. Yeah, it works. Yeah, and that's like 
blow some air too, man. So there's something there's something fishy with the uh, with the switch. So I bet it's just a little connection issue. I'll, I'll, I'll pop it open and see if I can fix it. If not, I mean this thing's probably like 20 bucks new, but you know I love free stuff and I bet I can fix it. So yeah, not too bad. Cola sign. It's definitely, it's not broken, but you can tell that the, the glue or the glass inside that frame kind of came, came apart. So I'm going to try to take it apart, see if I can fix it up a little bit, because it's kind of cool. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of Coca-Cola people out there, like hardcore Coca-Cola collectors and stuff. And, you know, I don't know if this is like anything worth anything, but, you know, if, it's, if I can get it working and running right i mean surely be able to fetch at least 10, 10 to 20 bucks for it so yeah right on man it's right here biggest uh computer i've ever found to date i'm guessing it's a uh a server of some sort because this thing like i'm not lying this thing oh it's got to be 40 50 pounds um but it's definitely like all there guarantee you there's drives in there all kinds of stuff in there so do a little research see if it's worth anything like this or you know maybe somebody buy it as is or just tear it apart and get all the all the good stuff out of it but yeah that's a man that's a beast oh what is it is there a model on here says uh 2003 r21 2 cpu 5 cal yeah it's a big boy that's for sure nice that one place we stopped i found some miscellaneous stuff you know some little t-ball baseball bats he'll garage sale or maybe donate to the local ymca or or you know somebody who could use it uh yeah they're all t-ball tpx those are uh those are pretty decent i mean they're not cheap cheap and then a couple of these old tools that's a pretty cool old wrench blackhawk i think that's by proto it's all seized up but you know soak that sucker it's wd-40 or some gasoline just really break that rust off some old hedge trimmers you know cool tools old tools i think are cool you know cool rusty stuff electronics little cd dvd uh for stereo system you know it's a little bit older but people still buy this stuff we'll plug it in see if it works the last receiver that i found a few videos back plugged it right in worked no problem whatsoever 20 bucks uh, this guy little radio shack it actually came with the with the manual, it says, what's a, yeah, amplifier. I guess it's like a, uh, like an equalizer amplifier kind of dealio. Uh, probably still works. Plug it in and see. Then you got a receiver here. Uh, plug it in, see if it works. It's a Sony. Uh, I'm willing to bet money everything here works. People just upgraded. And this stuff's probably been sitting around for a little while and they just decided to get rid of it. So I'll take it. Make a few bucks, man. It's a little RC uh, Futaba digital proportional radio control system. It says a world leading manufacturer of RC. The tag on the side says 235 bucks. So, you know, I don't know. It's an older box. We'll see what's inside. Right. Ooh, it's a little dusty. Yeah, it looks a little bit older, but I'm sure some of you RC guys out there would say it's still good. Anybody know about what something like this would be worth working or not? Let me know. It's actually kind of cool, really. And it's, you know, still in the box. It just needs to be cleaned up. Still got the uh, manual and all the good stuff.
couple of these little rip sticks here. I mean, they're not in the best of shape, but uh, they still roll and whatnot. So, uh, go try my hand out a rip stick real quick, see if I bust my ass. Remember this. Whoa. The wheels suck. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Ripping it up, boy. Woo, I'm too old to be doing this crap. Yeah. Of well, a uh, couple of younger folks in my family, you know, nieces, nephews. Probably crazier than me. I let them have them, you know. <sighs> Them wheels are in bad shape, but hey, it's free. Little Troy built weed eater last night. Oh, it's pumping on the bulb. I can tell you right now, it's it's kind of gummed up in there. Probably just needs to be cleaned out, and I guarantee you it'd fire right up. Yeah, so I might uh, I might take it to same place there with these uh, the uh, small engine repair guy. See if he you know give me a few bucks for the chainsaw and the and the uh, weed eater. Cause I mean I've I've got a I've got a good still weed eater at home, so I don't really need it. Uh, or see if I can just sell it somebody. 15 20 bucks it knows how to fix it i could probably fix it i mean if i got the time i might strip it apart see if i can get her fired up and if i can do that then i'd probably make a little more money so but yeah not too bad on earlier out there with the uh the server and that little samsung tv just plugged it in we'll see if she fires up if i can find the uh that tv i found sitting out there by the uh the server and then that Samsung little TV over there plugged it in to see if it would work but upon further review if you look back here somebody's ripped out the board over here so she's definitely not going to be working so I'll probably just like I did the one I found in the dumpster you know we'll pop it open get what we can out of it toss the shell in the trash it works I see a light right there. Where's the power button? There's light to it, but how do you turn it on, man? These. Shoot. Is this one of those you have to have a remote to work? I mean, come on now. We got light. I have to do a little bit more of the investigatory work. Find out how this thing turns on, man. Or is it on? Maybe it's. Maybe it's on? I don't know. Well, that's boo boo. Sonic, I was talking about, found last night. I got it plugged in. Let's see if it powers on. Let's see. Man, this sucks because the last time I was out here, I found three TVs at work. Why are you not turning on? Darn, I'm striking out today, guys. Oh well. <sighs> well, shoot. We'll see if that big one works. This is a Vizio, but I don't 
I don't have the power cord here for it. I might go inside and look to see if I can find something. See if she'll power on. But the way my luck's been today, been striking out, probably won't work. But if I get her working, man, I'll let y'all know. One, one spot we hit last night, the bag full of shoes. Uh, got some dive booties here. Some uh, GBX shoes. Some Lacoste. I don't know what these are. What do they say? True religion, okay. And then these Nikes, man. All these pretty Nike shoes. They're all the same size, and I know Nikes aren't cheap. We got some Lacoste, more Lacoste, some more Nikes, some Adidas, some more Lacoste, some DC, some Crocs, and one flip flop. Probably get a few bucks for these Nikes. They're in great shape. And I think these are, I think there's like cross country shoes, running shoes or something. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. Ah, these guys, little weightlifting system. I looked this up. You can get this at Academy for about 120 bucks. Everything seems to be there. Everything seems to be functioning. So, um, Whew, yeah, I'd probably sell this 30, 40 bucks, 50 if I'm lucky. Um, but I mean, geez, I could probably use it. To be honest with you, I could probably use it myself and work on this, these muscles. Tons of books, a couple places we hit. And I mean, we got books, you know, children's books, scholastic books, dictionaries, fiction, nonfiction, how to's. I mean, you name it, it is in here. So we're gonna take it to a place by my house. They'll buy books. Uh, you know, they, I mean, you don't get a whole lot of money for them, but you know, they buy them pretty decent price. Uh, the ones that they can't buy, they'll keep and donate anyway. So, you know, it all goes to a good cause, and you know, make a few extra bucks in in the process. T-shirts. Uh, most of them I'm gonna donate. Uh, charity a couple of them are pretty cool like that one right there little saw you know i do some woodworking so i'd probably keep that to myself keep calm chive on nah Let's see what the heck is this looks like some interesting clothing yeah just you know definitely uh some dude that the Astros little kid shirt. Definitely some dude that probably about my age decided he wanted to clean his stuff out. But there's one in here I'm definitely keeping. Let me show you guys. Well, this one for sure. Like, I mean, come on, dude. That's coming home with me. Let's see what else here. Uh, there's one. Oh yeah, this one right here. This is my jam. Some donuts, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then for the most, you know, just here and there, I saw a social distortion shirt. I'm definitely gonna take that. There's some Harley shirts, and you know, take a couple things, but for the most part, you know, box. Oh, yeah, this one's coming home, coming home with me, too. I mean, Beetlejuice, come on, bro. Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah, and this other stuff, you know, just. Just donate it to the, to the, uh, to whomever. I mean, what is, what, what, what is that? I don't know. But, yeah, quite a bit of t-shirts, so, uh, be able to give some t-shirts to some people in need. You know, got a couple for myself, and then found some hats. That thing's pretty dope. SeaWorld Well Trainer, 1985, man. That's a throwback. And I mean, come on. That's pretty, pretty sick. And then, Donald Duck, bro. Anybody remember Laser Quest? I do. Are they even still around? Hmm. Round Rock Family YMCA, U Sports Camp 97. And then, oh, yeah, gotta have your kangaroo hat. That's for the ballas. 
anyway all right guys well that pretty much sums up this trip uh of my heavy trash day wasn't too bad oh hold on i found a little toolbox a little old craftsman toolbox you know not too much a value inside of it but i mean it was a toolbox you know got a little cut brush a little hole saw a few little things you know Somebody at garage sale, probably. You know, like, yo. Like, yo, man, five bucks, five bucks. And, uh, yeah, I'll take it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if I get that big TV working, I'll let you know. But being the way my luck's been today, probably not. But we did pretty good. We really did pretty good. And uh, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Share with your friends.